football club have been crowned Irish League champions. Stephen Watson is here. Yes, thank you, Donna. It was a dramatic afternoon on the penultimate day of the local season. In the end, Cliftonville retained the Premiership title after beating Portadown 2 0, while nearest challengers Linfield lost by the same score to Glen Torren. It's the first time the Cliftonville have won back to back championships in the history of the club. Here's how they did it today. Cliftonville started the day three points clear of Linfield and with a better goal difference. They knew that a win should be enough. And as they took a second half lead against Portadown, in Belfast things weren't going well for their nearest challengers. It's here from the keys right through. Oh, and they have broken the hearts of Linfield and their title ambitions. Back at Shamrock Park, the home side were pushing for an equaliser. Headed early. Cliftonville were still feeling the pressure. Off the woodwork. But soon, they edged another step closer to glory. Just in low. Stephen Garrett has scored a second. And within a few minutes, more good news filtered through. And another cheer goes up. That can only signify one thing. At Windsor Park, Linfield had fallen further behind. There's a chance there, it's 2-0. Linfield's title hopes dead and buried. And for the second year in a row, Cliftonville sealed the title. It's all over. Cliftonville are the 2014 champions. So for well, it's just been an unbelievable season and the running's just, you know, it's been made it very worthwhile. Everyone just worked so hard all year. I just, I can't believe it's finished today. I thought it would go down the last day, but... It's just unbelievable. You know, you knew if you won, the basically the league was over. So, you know, the boys were a bit nervous. I think it showed in the play. But I think at half time, Brazzy just relaxed this and just says, you know, if he's well in the league, he's have to go out there and win it. And I think the heart and desire just got us over the line. Well, the jubilant Cliftonville players have made their way back to their own club solitude in North Belfast. And Thomas Kane is there for us live. Thomas. Well, Stephen, the party is only getting started here at Solitude. Conor Bevan's alongside me. Given the expectation level this year, was it more difficult to win the title? Yeah, I would say so. It was hard to defend it. Uh, you know, we, 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 we won it in great style last, last year, and it took us a wee while this year to, to get, get the grips. But, uh, you know, I think that... Yeah. Yeah, last, I think that's one of your excited players? That's one of my excited ex-players, if he keeps that up. Yeah. <laughs> Your players did show great character as well this season because they did have to reduce that deficit. Yeah, you know, and come Christmas we, we, we try to sort of uh, cut cut down the, the deficit by one or two points every month. And, you know, once we got to the front, uh, I didn't think we would, we would have given that grace up. And that's the way it worked out. So, you know, delighted for all the players, you know, the hard work that they put in and, and, and all everybody that did the club and the fans were so outstanding. So, just absolutely delighted, Thomas. Thomas. Thanks very much. Tommy, he's a big Man United fan. I'm not going to ask him about that. Great job at Old Trafford. I think he's going to stay here for quite a while. Thomas, thank you. It's going to be a good night there, I would imagine. The atmosphere was obviously a lot different across the city, where Linfield's league challenge ended at the hands of Glen Torrent. Certainly not the way manager David Jeffrey wanted to end his last game at Windsor Park. I said to the players that, you know, this is a place where there is no hiding place. You've got to perform out in the pitch. And... Unfortunately for us today, it wasn't about effort, it wasn't about commitment. If I'm being honest and objective, we got what we deserved, and that was nothing. Certainly an emotional day, but one which I'm very clear about, the decision was the right decision, and right decision for all concerned. And now my best wishes simply go to the club, and to the new gentleman coming in. And we'll have more reaction to Cliftonville's championship success on our late building, Donna.